me this was over. There ain't no use talking me over. Yeah, why can't you try to tell me sooner? Why can't you tell me this was over? Let it go, baby. Got another love to go. Let it go. Where we at? Mm. We are back out again. Good to see my friend. If I sound like a Kid Cudi song. Mm. Uh, uh, how do you make a whole album of hums in this? Okay. Sorry, ADD kicking in. We are back out again. Good to see my friend. If you don't know, now you know. There's Hayes. Hayes sounds what they call me. Michael Jackson making of Remember the Time, my personal favorite music video. With that being said, a song by Michael Jackson. Let's go! The back lot of Universal Studios in Los Angeles. Soundstage 12, where dancers, camera crews, comedian Eddie Murphy, Magic Johnson and supermodel Iman have all gathered for the shooting of Michael Jackson's song, Remember the Time. A short film, out of video, directed by John Singleton, best known for Boys in the Hood. Come on, let's like, play one. The, the, the black all-stars in this movie, Iman, Eddie Murphy, Magic Johnson, John Singleton, like, like Michael just said, let me get all the black, let me get the black excellence <laughs> like all the best ex black excellence I could get. Like what? And the fact that this is low key and homage to coming to America at the same time, R.P. James Earl Jones. Like it's insane. It's insane. Insane, bro. Like man, Mike us. One more. One more. I don't need a, a, again. Quit. This is actually uh, probably the biggest production I've ever worked on. <laughs> you know, I'm used to doing small films in, inside of you know, houses and neighborhoods and, and this is the first time I've ever worked on a sound stage. It's kind of like I got every toy at my disposal. You know, if I want it and I feel it's going to look right, I just go and I tell somebody, I want this, you know, and if Michael wants it too, I get it. It all happens in ancient Egypt. The storyline is this. The queen of Egypt, Nefertiti, is bored played by Iman, the queen. And uh, she asked the pharaoh, uh, played by Eddie Murphy, if he could find some way to entertain her. He decides to call in a couple of entertainers. So he has a, um, some, some people come. He has a juggler come, and he has a fire breather come, and the queen is still not satisfied. Look at Michael. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right, Eddie. And I don't want y'all to think that, that I'm running and I'm a punk because Iman didn't move from the bird. <laughs> but it's two ways to react in a situation like that. You can run or be real still. And she's just being real still. So she's as horrified as I am. <laughs> and see, she was raised in East Africa. She knows if the eagle go crazy, be real still. <laughs> I'm from Brooklyn, so you run. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, you know Eddie, man. Had a, they had a time, Michael and them had a time of their life with Eddie on set. Like, the, like just the love, the love between Eddie and Michael, bro. Like, that's so dope. Like, you have the greatest comedian of all time by this time and the greatest artist of all time together. It's just all love, all laughs. Like, that's so dope. Ooh. Remember the time is, like, my favorite track on track on the album you know there's Facts. a lot of good tracks but it's like you know i really like it because it has a, a dance feel but it's also kind of like a ballad too it has kind of multi-dimensions to it it really is that's why it's michael michael got a funky beat Ooh, it's nice i'm just excited to be here and have an opportunity to be on this video or i should say short movie thank and, you uh, thank you magic Understanding uh, the assignment. I mean, I'm like a little kid. I can't, what can I tell you? <laughs> this might have been after the announcement that he had HIV, actually. So, again, shout out to Michael. Show of love. Behold, great Pharaoh Ramses, I bring to you the stick man. One thing I really like about that is I'm doing some, here, I'm doing some, uh, Kind of like Busby Berkeley, 
kind of things. I've got stuff overhead in different angles, and I'm cutting on movement. A lot of people don't think about that. Most people, when they do uh, videos or short films or whatever, when they, when they shoot dance, all they do is they just they keep the camera going, and they don't they don't choreograph for the camera. They don't choreograph right. dance for the camera. Right. I got a friend of mine, uh, Fatima Robinson, to, to choreograph it, and she's worked a lot with Guy, and she she worked with Whitney Houston and some other people and stuff, and. It's, it's just like, it's, it's some real funky stuff, you know? What we did was took some um, hip-hop moves, but made them technical, because Mike is very technical. Yes, we he is. We put some hip-hop, which is the latest dance style right now. The best dance. And, and brought it all together. We've been working Stop. on this for three weeks. Yeah, a couple weeks rehearsal and dress rehearsal and everything like that. And about... Eight hour, nine hour days. Yeah, pretty, pretty hectic. We're working with 25 plus Michael. Dope. 13 girls and 12 guys plus Michael. We both decide to dance because a lot of times when choreographers don't dance, they don't get the same respect, especially from dancers because you're not doing the same thing. You're just saying, okay, do that and do this. But when they see you, you know, busting your butt too, they give you more respect. And they work harder. Exactly. That's so that's so fire. Like I didn't like I didn't know that girl who was dancing with Michael in the video. I did not know she was the one that was the lead choreographer. That is so dope, bruh. Again, I forgot John Singleton was the director. Like, bruh. Like again, Michael is great his greatest strength is not his creativity, it's his collaboration. Getting the best people to see your vision and to do their own vision as well to come together and create the best vision. Like, that's so dope. Again, this is in the height of hip-hop, the height of New Jack Swing, and R&B, I think, we're just about to reach that new level and to get all this together and do the, the Africa, the, the Africa vibe, and shout-out to Egypt and all that with the pyramid. Like, bruh, this is, this is, this is God. This is godly right here, bruh. I bet Michael won't talk during this whole time. Michael, like, I don't want to talk. <laughs> you know, Michael can be anti social at times. Apple boxes to balance this. The four by four box on camera That's a hip hop type bait. Doom, doom. Boom, boom. Like, right? But then you enter, like, the other instrumentation. Like, mm, it's, it's, it's like, ah. Uh, like, shout out to Teddy Riley as well. <laughs> like, he, make, he makes new sounds. Uh, now, nothing else sounds like this. Like, he makes new sounds, bruh. Like, it still has R&B influence, but still somewhat kind of pop, but still a ballad. It's like, what? Like, what? Like, how do you do that? Oh, my God. And then I love John Singleton telling Mike, remember, because I'm like, why was Michael looking so angry in the video? And like, just be like, remember, Mike, attitude. You got to have attitude. 
Like I just I love that. I just love that little stuff that you don't you will never know unless you're behind the scenes. <laughs> As a filmmaker, it's, it's like live, you know. I'm not limited by my imagination for once in my life because Michael's not limited by his imagination. Wow. You go watch my reaction to the Rim of the Time video if you want to watch that. But uh, yeah, that's just a little behind the scenes making a making of Remember the Time. Of course, Michael, I guess, was shy that day. Didn't feel like talking. It's all good. But again, just to hear from the director and the, the choreographer. And I guess... I guess the reason why this is my favorite, well, first of all, the song itself is my era, like New Jack Swing, 90s, but R&B, Teddy Riley, like, this is my era of music. This is what I grew up on, like, I'm a 90s baby. That's one, and two, to be honest with you, Remember the Time is super black. So that's probably why, like, I really love Remember the Time, because it's super black. You got a king, a black king, a black queen. You got a black director, black choreographer, every day black. I just, I just, hey, hey, that's just, that's probably why it like personally, I mean, growing up to see like Michael, growing up, Michael was royalty to like to us. Like to see Michael growing up, like it's like, this is the closest we have to like a king, like <laughs> a dead ass, like not a king of pop, but a king of music. like. Just to see, like, growing up as a kid, like, oh, my God. Like, this is the greatest person I've ever seen. Like, who's the president? Clinton. I don't know who that is. I don't care. Like, just... <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the behind the scenes of making the time. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share all the things of the things. Ain't got to go home. You got to get to step in. Peace. And I'll